going on guys? Today we are going to be showing you how to take the top off and the doors off on your Jeep Gladiator. Now this is something that is unique to the Gladiator itself. It's the only truck that has removable doors, removable top, and if you want to get a true open air experience, you can even fold the windshield down. We're not going to be folding the windshield down today, but I'm going to show you how to take the doors off and how easy it is with this soft top to just take the top right off. We're inside the Jeep, we're gonna start with the soft top. And behind the sun visors, there's two latches. Unlatch one, unlatch two. And then I'll show you guys how easy this is to flip back. Now to get these doors off, it takes a little bit more. So on the hinges here, as you can see, it says this is a, there's a T50 Torx bolt on each hinge. And also on the inside, uh, there's this bolt you have to take off. This is the limit, the limiter that keeps the door from opening all the way. And then the only other thing is uh, you'll have to disconnect the wiring here. And this panel just pops off and there's a quick connect on the wiring. We'll show you that in a second. So this panel just pulls straight back. This is the first time I've ever done this. Red tab flips up, white clip flips up. all the way and then the wiring harness comes out and you pop this little guy just pops up and over right here and that's the wiring then you take your cover panel you slide it back in like so and it just pops straight back in now in order to do all of this Jeep gives you a little tool kit got a little ratchet the two different torx bits and a socket. Now this is cool, it just fits in your glove box. It's kind of nice, so you'll never uh, lose any of this. The limiting bolt right here. And this takes the uh, smaller of the Torx size right here. Okay, and that bolt's off. All right, so the last bolts we're taking off on this door is these T50s on the outside. So you're probably thinking to yourself, what do I do with these bolts. Now that you got them off, you don't wanna lose them, right? Well, luckily Jeep thought of that for you. And if you come here behind the driver's seat, flip this up, there is a little compartment right here. Pull the lid off and all you do is you put these little guys right in there. So that way you will never lose your hardware or your doors. All right, so now once you got all that, all you gotta do is lift the door off and it's easier with the window down, so that's something you want to make sure you've done before. And there's a handle right here for you to grab. And you just pick them up, and they're off, just like that. So for the rear doors, the bolts are exactly the same. But what is slightly different is this panel right here where you disconnect the wiring. It comes off generally in the same way. You just pull that off. The wiring harness is just a little different. And you just push down on this pin right here and pull that out. It's a little bit different than the front wiring. It's actually a lot easier to remove. And same with the, there's a similar but slightly different um, strap right here. And just like that, we have the doors off, the top is off. So naturally there's only one thing left to do and that would be go drive this thing. <laughs> 